Rawr. Hello there and welcome to this first video out of three in this mini-series where you'll see my process in drawing a 31 meter long drawing. In this video I'm covering the first part of the outlining process and I'll be covering the second part in the next video and then in the last video you'll see me color it all and finish it up. As you can see I don't have a sketch for this drawing, I'm just kind of freehanding it all the way through. I had a little bit of a sketch in the beginning just to make sure I was on the right track, but I quickly dropped that because it was really not helping me any more likely it was holding me back. As you can hopefully tell, this is a very deep hole that I'm drawing. I forgot to record the first part of this drawing, but you can see me scroll over it in the beginning of the video and I'll come back to it as well. This is my second attempt at making this drawing. When I was four, like 14 or 15 years old, I drew a 36 meter long drawing by hand. So this one comes close in length. I thought it would be a real fun project to do a drawing like this because it's a very good format for web publications. So what I initially was going to do was make a drawing of a guy standing at the edge of a hole and saying something like, what are you waiting for? Just crawl out of there. And then you would scroll down and the hole gets deeper and deeper with more and more ob obstacles he has to get through. And at the very bottom, there's a guy with a broken arm and a leg saying something like, right, right. That was my initial idea, but as I said, this is my second attempt at that. I did make a drawing with that initial idea and I worked at it for about two days and I was almost ready to publish it. Uh, I had drawn all the outline, the coloring, everything was pretty much ready. And then the night before, my computer had a spontaneous shutdown while Photoshop was still open. I didn't really think about it because I'd saved all my files, you know, make backups and all that. And I was about to go to bed. And then the next day, when I tried to open the file to show to one of my friends, all that was left was a corrupted black file with some red pixels in the top, which sucked really, really hard. So, of course, I started looking around on the internet for methods to recover one of these files and I got help from a few people who are really tech savvy. I'm pretty tech savvy myself, I'd say. And the file was just plainly overwritten by some weird default or corruption. So it's, it's gone forever <laughs> and it sucks. But after having been really mad at my computer and at myself, and cried a little bit, I decided that I was going to remake the project. I actually got I got angry uh, on the bus on the way home. I was like, no, this isn't gonna beat me. <laughs> I'm gonna redraw it. I'm gonna make it even longer <laughs> and even better. So once I got home, I made a new Photoshop file and I called it longer and better whole. <laughs> uh, and I started this project all over again. And that's what you're seeing right here. So my new idea was to make this project even bigger and more ambitious. And I was going to add a couple of more guys falling on the way down. So there's a lot of the same ideas and the same details in this drawing as there was in the first one that I lost. The positive thing in all this is that I didn't get to film the original drawing while I was making it and now I have this great big video three part, part project for you guys. Let this be a lesson to any of you that might be watching to remember to double and triple back up your files always. The worst part is I was even supposed to make a backup of all my files that evening that my computer crashed, but I was too lazy. So, you know, it's very much my own fault, but still I kind of got screwed over by my computer because I had saved, I had everything ready and yeah, well, yeah. At least this is a really fun project. So doing it again is okay. Doing outline drawings like this that are very free in format is really fun. I like drawing all the big monsters like the one you just saw me draw and I like to put in all the little details and easter eggs for people to find later. Yeah, now we're at the first guy who is falling down the hole. I don't remember what I called him. Wait, let me just look that up. Uh, ba -ba. Yeah, here we are. This guy, he is Frank. 
I often call my characters, I don't know what to name, just Frank. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a good name, I guess. Shout out to any Franks that might be watching this. And the guy standing at the top of the hole, he is very creatively named Guy. So yeah, that's that. And then later up, we're gonna see Dave and Greg. I guess I have a habit of naming my character with very short names, uh, often four letters. There's not really any reason for me to name these guys. I just kind of felt like it. Also, I needed to call the Photoshop layer something, so there you go. This ended up being a very large Photoshop file, so I really needed to have a good naming convention. We're getting a little deeper into the hole at this point. There's some more monsters here. And I decided to put a little guy sitting by a bonfire. Unfortunately, I later forget to actually make the bonfire light up. So that's great. But he's a cool little dude having his laundry hanging from a dragon, a monster's mouth. Uh, he's not one of the guys, but he's still cute, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what to say. I just like drawing mushrooms and teeth and shit, okay? <laughs> Please, if you have any ideas what I should talk about, uh, for the love of Greg, put it in the comments. At least there's not too much time left of the video for me to talk. Oh, 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 we're not that as far as I thought. You know what? I'm going out for tea. Okay, I got tea. <laughs> Where were we? Uh, I'm about to draw the, sec the third guy. What's his name again? F Frank. No, Greg. There, there it is. Yeah, he's coming up right there. Damn it, Greg. Confusing me. Dropping all your stuff as well. Yeah, I also drew that keyhole you saw right there. Don't know why there would be a keyhole that far down a hole where nobody has been before, but there is. And that little baby bird kind of thing. I don't know what those bird creatures are. I just felt like I should make some distinct environment for this hole. I chose not to draw actual human characters because when you draw humans, it's kind of loaded from the beginning. Um, with these kind of humanoid characters, you can kind of see what you want in them. So it's just more neutral. So when I drew these beautiful mountain climbing dolphin bird men, the rest of the environment needed to kind of fit that sentiment somehow. I'm imagining that all life in this kind of little universe that I've created stems from the same forefather, some sort of prehistoric bird granddaddy. <laughs> And that's also why all the other creatures in this cave is either inspired by the guys or by deep sea creatures. Like we're so far down, so it just made sense. There you are, Greg, finally. Took a sweet time to get here. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Greg is nice. It's Frank you really have to look out for. I mean, he is the one who was supposed to check the equipment before they went down. I'm sorry if that sentence sounded weird. It was kind of like a tongue twister for me to say. As you can probably tell, I've stopped drawing mushrooms on the walls of the hole at this point. Instead, I'm drawing these coral-like plants uh, because here is where it's supposed to get kind of dark when I get to the coloring stage. And you can tell that the creatures living down here is getting different from the ones 
further up as well. I'm also not drawing as many Easter eggs down here as I was in the beginning because it's getting kind of serious and there's more monsters. As you can see right now, I'm getting into the big one uh, with a lot of little stubblies all over him. All those stubbles, I imagine, is kind of like skin flaps and they were really fun to draw a lot of. And if you haven't noticed by now, that big guy I just drew, he is going through the entirety of the hole. You can see his tail in the beginning of the hole sticking out of the wall. I'll comment on it in the next video when we get to it. And then you can see his body going throughout the entire drawing all the way down to here. I'm about to draw it in a second. I don't really know why I call him him. I guess I just tend to personify the things that I draw, but here he is. He's a worm, wormy squirmy guy. He got his nice long tongue sticking out right there and he's gonna have a lot of, of those little skin flaps as well. I realize he looks very phallic. That has been pointed out to me already. I drew a smaller version in him in the original drawing that I lost. So I thought, should I put him in again? <laughs> wow, that I didn't realize. I'm sorry. I thought to myself, yes, I'm gonna draw him again. And yes, he's gonna be even more phallic because this is the bigger and better hole. <laughs> I guess this is a good point to stop at. So thank you so much for watching. For any Franks out there, I'm very sorry. And have a good one. Bye. Yeah.